Now, of course, we've built all these skills with, um, with multiplication and division. I'm going to apply them today in finding factors, so you'll use all these skills and that'll be, that'll be really good. Um, just a little thing though for Friday. Friday, I want to do a kind of compilation video of recapping all the different things that we've done. So any example questions that you write or that you have written or examples you want to share, it would be really, really good to get them before Friday so I can put them together. That'll be the end of the unit where we can write, really kind of celebrate everything that we've done. Um, and we're going to kick off with a number talk. So we're going to start today with a number talk. It's been a while since we've, been, uh, we've done a number talk, hasn't it? Well, let's have a go. So this is the fact that we're given. 6 multiplied by 20 equals 120. So how can I use this to work out these other number facts here. I'm going to do this one as an example and then give you one to have a go at. So 6 times 20 is 120. 7 lots of 20, well that is one more lot of 20, so 140 there. Um, now 6 times 20, 6 times 40, well what's the same? It's 6 multiplied by, and then what's different? We've got double the amount here, 20, 40. So it must be 240, double 120. Um, 6 multiplied by 22, it will be, compared to this one, it's 2 more lots of 6. So I just need to add 12 to this 120, 132. And um, so here, 6 multiplied by 20 gives me the whole of 120. And this whole of 120 divided by 20. How many 20s in 120? Of course, there are 6. Okay, let's see if you can use that skill. Um, have a go with these questions here. There we go. So you might throw in your own examples as well. I hope you do. Come up with some other, other related facts. Um, and I'm going to have a go at these in a moment. So pause the video um, and have a go. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to start with this one on the top right here. So 15 multiplied by 4. So 4 lots of 15 is 60. So 5 lots must be 15 more. 75. Um, 15 multiplied by 8 will be double 15 multiplied by 4. It's 120. Seems to be my favourite number today. Um, and 15 multiplied by 4 equals 60. So 60 divided by 4. Well, that will be 15. We're using the inverse understanding there. And 17 lots of 4. And um, well, this is 15 lots of 4. So it'll be 2 more lots of 4. Uh, 68. I'm sure you came up with other examples as well. And today's video is called Finding Factors Part 1, where we're going to use those multiplication and division skills to be able to find factors. And we'll explain what we mean by that. But we're going to use a lot of the understanding that we've built already. So let's get going. First of all, well, what is a factor? Now, we've used area models before, and this one shows 4 times 3 equals 12. And of course, it also shows that how many 4s in 12? There are 1, 2, 3. And how many 3s in 12? There are 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. three 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Now, this means that 3 and 4 are factors of 12. A factor is, a, if we're looking at 12, all the factors of 12 are numbers that I can divide a 12 into and not leave a remainder. So we can use these number sentences and they all show us that 4 and 3 are factors of 12, some of the factors of 12. Now, let's say we were looking to find factors of 20. Now, what we might do is think, well, which, which multiplication facts do we know immediately that can help us to find factors? So you might think 20 times 1 equals 20. So 20 and 1 are factors of 20. And 10 times 2 equals 20. So 10 and 2 are factors of 20 as well. And then I might think, say, well, I wonder if 4, how many 4s in 20? Um, is, does that make even groups? And yeah, um, and it does. So 5 lots of 4 equals 20. So factors of 20... 5 is, and so is 4. But if we were looking at 8 and thinking, well, I wonder if 8 is a factor of 20. Well, it isn't, because an 8 and another 8 is 16, and then that leaves 4, so that doesn't divide evenly. So if 8's not a factor of 20. So what we're going to have a look at is see if we can work out the single digit factors of 32. So looking at these single digit numbers and thinking, which ones of those are factors of 32? Or the single digit factors of 60, which ones are um, of these single digits are factors of 60? 
Now, I want you to work out as many as you can. You might have a go at the example on the left or the example of the right and, and have a think. How do you know which of those digits are factors of either 32 or 60? Maybe some you'll just know immediately that they are factors or they aren't factors and some you'll need to do some calculation. Uh, pause the video and, and have a go. OK, well, let's have a little look at the thought process and we're going to try and do both of the questions together. Now, immediately, I know that 1 and 2 are factors of 32 because 1 times 32 is 32. And I know because 32 is an even number that 2 is one of its factors as well. And that's the same with 60. Now, because 32 ends in a 2, it doesn't end in a uh, 0 or a 5. I know that 5 isn't a factor. And of course, 60, I know that 5 is a factor, because I'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, every time a number ends in a 0, 5 is one of its factors. Um, now, moving on, well, what about 3? I know that 3 isn't a factor of 32, because 10 lots of 3 is 30, 11 lots of 3 is 33, so 32 isn't a factor. But I know that 3 is a factor of 60. 10 lots of 3 is 30. 20 lots of 3 must be 60, so that one I, I know is. Now, to work out 4, um, what I would do is I'd actually think 32, I'm going to half it and half it again and see if, if that splits into even groups, uh, whole number groups. So 32, half of it is 16, half again is 8. Um, so 8 times 4 equals 32. So actually that shows me that 4 and 8 are both factors of 32. And here, again, I can split 60 into 30 and uh, if half of 60 is 30 and then half again is 15. So 60 divided by 4 equals 15. So I know factors of 60 are 15 and 4 as well. well let's have a look at 6. Um, is it a factor of 32? If I count up in 6, six time, 5 lots of 6 is 30 and then 2 more. So, so this one isn't. But of course, 10 lots of 6 is 60. So this one is. So look. 1 to 6, all uh, factors of 60. 7, um, well, well, 7 isn't for either. 7, 14, 21, 28, and then 4 more to get to 32. That's not a whole another 7. And just the same here. Um, if I count up in lots of 7s, I wouldn't get to 60. 60 divided by 7 doesn't give me a whole number. Um, let's have a look for 60 at 8. Now, I've got this strategy here that I use, breaking up the 60. If I split up the 60 into 40, I know that 5 lots of 8 is 40, and then 20, but if I count up in lots of 8, 8, 16, and that leaves a remainder of 4, so 8 is not a factor of 60. And 9, again, I can use these times table facts that I, that I might know. 9 times 3 is 27, and that's 5 more to get to 32. It's not 9 more, so 9 is not a factor. And 9 times 7 is 63, and again, just three less is 60, so nine must not be a factor 60 either. Now, I've got a slightly unusual challenge to finish with, which is this one. Which number do you think will have more factors and why? And no calculations allowed, okay? So I'm gonna bring up two numbers. I just want you to look at them and think, which one do I think will have more factors? Now, you can pause the video if you want to, but remember that rule no calculation. I just want you to see if you can explain why you think one number has more factors than the other one. Have a look at them. They are 80 and 85. Oh, what do you think? Now, now maybe you, you'll think, I think 85 will have more factors because it's a larger number. Oh, hang on a minute. No, maybe 80 has got more factors um, because it's an even number, say. Well, should we have a look? Actually, in this case, 80 has got a lot more factors. Look, it's got 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 16, 20, 40, and 80. Whereas 85, it actually has only these, these four factors. We, we know that whenever we have an even number, it will at least have two as a factor. And maybe we could think, you know, in numbers with four as a factor, they'll have a lot more as well. So, year three and four. Here's today's task. Click on the blue link underneath the video, wherever you're viewing them from, it'll bring this up. We've got task A and task B. So for these questions, for example, question one, which of these digits here are factors of 28? So circle the ones that are, and, and again for factors of 25 and so on, and how do you know? Which of these three numbers has most factors? That's question three. 
Um, so there's task A and task B. It's the same structure for task B. It's just different numbers that we're using there. And then there's some interesting extend tasks. So uh, we're using Venn diagrams. So put a number in each section of the Venn diagram. Can you think of a, a number that's just a factor of 30 in here, but not a factor of 24? One that's a factor of both. And then one that's a factor of just 24. And numbers that are a factor of, of neither 30 nor 24. Um, and again, for task B, um, what could the headings be this time for the Venn diagram? So two extend tasks there if you want to take yourself further. Answers at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to see you back tomorrow where, where we're going to continue with this and we're going to get to part two.